On Monday, the Northern Regional Executives of the National Democratic Congress removed the constituency chairman of the party in the Mion constituency, Chairman Alaji Abdullahi Zakari, following a petition against him that suggested that he campaigned against the party in the last elections. The regional executives and the former MP for the area, Mohammed Aziz, who granted media interviews on the matter, said the behavior of the chairman was against the party's constitution, hence the decision to remove him as the constituency chairman. As Honorable Aziz came to this constituency, we have never seen any effort that he's putting out. He just bringing a lot of division into the contention, and we don't want him. And they all came out boldly and voted him out. Now he shouldn't put something against Chairman. That it was Chairman who vote, who campaigned against him. He was not helping. And even even a student self, he was not helping those who are going to train college, nursing training, universities. He was not doing that. Now that he had opportunity. And he can go to Tambele and influence and give money to people to terminate on Chama. That thing, we will not take it today and we will not buy it today and we are not going to take it. The group claimed that the decision by the functional regional executives will affect the fortunes of the party in the constituency. They allege it is a calculated plan by the defeated MP to remove the chairman for him to stage a comeback. The A7 noticed that if the chairman is not reinstated, the NDC would forever be in opposition in the constituency. If they didn't take it serious to consider him back to the constituency, we are going to surprise the, uh, we are going, just going to surprise NDC in Myung simply because they, the regional executive they are not doing their work. If we are not able to win this seat, and it's become a problem. What of Zozugu, Tatale, uh, what is the name? Gushegu and Yendi. Are they not voting for NDC? Why is it that they are not getting the opportunity to win that seat? And we, it's only this year, we are not able to what? To win. And all these things are happening. So we have to hold ourselves very well and take things seriously and work hard for 2024 so that we get a best candidate. For as this one he comes, the same thing will still apply. They are making an appeal to the National Executives Council, the National Council of Elders, to take a second look at the decision and help reverse it.